Claude 4 build anything. Claude 4 just dropped and you can literally build anything with it. Today, I'm going to show you how I just built an AI super agent that controls my laptop and browser, a fully functional chess game, a 3D driving simulator, and a beautiful CRM dashboard in minutes. The power of this new model is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm about to show you every method I use, including the exact setup for building AI super agents that can actually control your Mac and also your browser. You will discover my step-by-step -step instructions for coding locally and publishing instantly. And you'll get my free complete automation system that creates viral content and posts it automatically. And you get all of this for free. Today, I'm going to show you how to build basically anything with the new update from Claude 4. This new Claude 4 update is basically an absolute game changer when it comes to AI. It can build awesome tools like you see right here. Here's a chess game actually built out and it works perfectly. As you can see, that is working beautifully. Additionally, we have a 3D car simulator that we actually built out that works as well. Let's pull this up as an example. You can see me driving a little car right there with a truck in the background driving around. We built this with one shot as well, by the way. This is Claude 4, so gave it a really complicated prompt right there. Boom, shakalaka, it went off and did it. Asked it to build out a complex chess game. And here's another example. So this is a 3D car simulator. Just went off and did it, mate. It's like high say to do ratio. I'll do anything you want. So it's pretty amazing what you can build and how you can build. I'm going to show you how to build anything using Claude 4 today for free, right? So if you want to build stuff out directly inside 4, one of the first things I'm going to recommend is checking out the AI Success Lab because we've got detailed examples of how to build stuff directly with this. What I want to show you first is directly inside the chat, which is the simplest way to use Claude because it's got artifacts and everything built in directly. Then you can go over to Claude they do have four available for free for a certain limit. And then directly inside here, you can select which model you want. So for example, Opus 4 or Sonic 4. And then for example, from here, you can say, okay, build a CRM dashboard with a beautiful UI using Claude Sonic 4. Opus 4, by the way, is the most powerful coding model. But you can see here, it's just straight away going off. It's going to code off in artifacts, and then it will give us a preview once that's fully coded out. So for example, like when we said generate the 2D shooter game, it just went off and did it. Same with the chess game, same with the 3D car simulator. And if we go back, this is going to start coding out. Now, I haven't seen any massive speed differences, but I haven't seen big differences in terms of the quality of responses. That's the main thing that we're seeing a difference here. So if we have a look, we've got the CRM dashboard perfectly coded out right there. If we go to publish, we can publish that and just share it with the world. Let's click on that. There we go. And then if we scroll down, that's working beautifully. We just one shotted it as well. If we export the report, we've got some options. We can select between this quarter, this week, this month, etc. And also the UI is really nice, right? That's probably better than most SaaS UIs. And we just coded it in one shot. Absolutely wild. So that's how you can use the main browser for coding inside Claude.ai. Let me show you another example of how you can use this. This is one of my favorite tricks with Claude. So what you can do is if you go inside your settings and then you're going to go to developer, turn developer options on, and then you're going to edit the MCP config file. Now, if you need like a slowed down step-by-step -step process for doing this, check out the AI success lab. It is completely free and it guides you through it in a 15 minute tutorial if you want. But just for the sake of this video, so I can help you. This is exactly what you can see. So you've got these MCPs running. We've got Apple Script, which controls our Mac. And we've got Browser MCP, which controls our browser, right? And if you want to set this up, you just edit the MCP configuration file. I've, it's all described inside the tutorial, but basically you just edit the MCP like you can see right here, set up the settings. If you want the copy and pasteable code, you can go inside the AI success lab, link in the comments description, completely free. And then from here, we can start controlling our laptop and also our browser. So for example, if we say open up a new tab here, new chat, and we say, tell me how much free space I have in my main drive. You can do this on 3.7 as well. So if you run out of token usage, et cetera, no problem. You can use 3.7 instead of 4, but it'll work really well on 4 as well. Probably be faster too. And then if we say, tell me how much free space I have in my drive, here we go. And then you can see here it's coded that out for us, right, directly inside Claude, right? So we said, tell me how much free space on my main drive. It used that MCP that I just told you to set up. By the way, if anyone's having any problems setting this up, check out the AI Success Lab 
all the details are in there, right? So you've just got the copy and paste code and it's free. Just go in there and copy and paste and steal it from me, right? If you want the instructions on exactly how to set this up. Pretty simple and easy to do. You just have to allow some settings. Obviously, you use it at your own risk. You want to be careful how you use this stuff because it is interacting with my drive. And then if you want to get it to basically create an AI super agent method for you, if you want it to control your browser, etc., here's how you can do that. So you would just go to file settings, make sure you have the MCP set up for browser MCP. Like you can see, again, you can copy and paste the code from the AI success lab. And then using Claude 4, we can navigate our browser. So what we're going to do is make sure we have the Chrome extension set up, connect, right? And then inside Claude desktop, we're going to say, okay, research the latest news on four. So we're going to enter. And then if we go back from here and I'm just going to start a new chat, say using browser MCP. Now it's navigating Claude, right? As you can see here, it's using browser navigate to scroll through the browser. Again, I'm using 3.7 because I don't want to rinse my usage and then not have any limits left, but you can do this, whatever you want, right? So for example, it could be with four, it could be with 3.7, you decide how you want to use it, but you can see here how it's navigating through the website, checking and researching all the stuff and based on the research I've conducted, here's a comprehensive summary of the latest news about Claude four. It's just going off and finding all the information, right? So it's gathered all that information from the browser use that it scraped right here. Pretty simple and easy. If we say, for example, okay, go to Claude.ai and build out an AI SEO tool using browser use, it's navigating to AI. Again, like I'm not touching my laptop or using the mouse or anything like that. You can see the browser is clearly configured to work on the laptop on itself. And by the way, with Lopus 4, it's actually configured to work for seven hours autonomously, which is pretty crazy as well. And then you can see it can start navigating to Claude here. Pretty simple and easy to do. Easy to set up. You got all the instructions inside the AI success lab as well, if you want to set this stuff up. So you got two options there. You can control your browser, but you can also control your laptop as well. So you can gather information, files, new updates, etc., inside your laptop as well, which is super useful to be fair. So that's just a couple of examples of how you can use it. Now, what you've also got an option of is you can build stuff with Claude 4 inside bolt.diy. So let me show you how to do that. And so for example, we go to Claude 4 over here and you can use something called bolt DIY to build this out. Now, if you want to know exactly how to set up bolt DIY, let me show you how. So we'll just navigate to the SAP from the AI success lab, as you can see. And then what we can do over here is we just have to get clone. So we're going to navigate to terminal again, by step instructions inside the AI success lab, completely free. We'll plug that in. Then from here, we're just going to copy and paste this code. Here we go. Then we'll copy and paste that. And then we're going to PM PM run dev. And that's going to create a local URL that we can navigate to. So let's copy that. And then inside here, we've got this ready to go. And then you can see inside the drop down here, you have the options for Claude Opus 4 and Claude Sonnet 4, right? And that's using Open Router. Now, all you need to do is just get an API key from Open Router. Let me show you how to do that. So you go to openrouter.ai, log in, go to keys in the top right, create API key, as you can see, create an API key. Copy that bad boy. Then you're going to go inside Bolt DIY, copy and paste that code, hit OK. And then, for example, you want to build whatever you want out. So we're going to select Anthropic and then Claude 4 from the list. So we can use Opus 4, Opus 4 for example. And then if we take a prompt from the AI Profit Boardroom, link in the comments description, go to the classroom, go to SAPs. By the way, if you haven't checked out this community, this Amazing. This is where I get all my latest AI news and stuff like that and coaching. So we're going to copy this prompt over here and let's see what we can do. So let's create that 3d car simulator game, for example, but sometimes when a new AI gets released, the API doesn't work or it's a bit slow to respond, etc. 
So what you can actually do is just switch between them, right? So if Opus isn't working, switch to Sonic 4. If Sonic 4 isn't working, switch to Opus 4, etc. right? And you can see the difference in pricing right there. So 4 is a lot cheaper to code with versus Opus 4 is a lot more expensive, but Opus 4 is way more powerful for coding out. And then you can see it's just building out the code right here inside Bolt. Bolt DIY is free to use. The only thing you're going to pay for here is the API key usage. But yeah, that'll code out in the background. So what we can do is actually wait for that to code out. And then in the meantime, we can start using other methods. So the other way that we can use well is we can navigate to something like na10.io and then we can start building agents out with na10. So if we go to na10 over here, We'll click on create workflow. And then just as a really basic example, you can add like a chat trigger. Then from here, add the AI agent. Then you can add a chat model. Select open router, plug in your API key over here. So you just click on the pencil, plug in the API key. And then we'll copy that one that we just got. Copy that, go over to edit 10, plug the API key in, hit save that's connected successfully. And then if we go inside the model section here, we'll type in Claude, and then you can choose between Opus 4 and Sonic 4, right? So if we select Sonic 4 for the agent, then just as a super basic example, we'll select system message, you're a helpful assistant. And then if we want to test this out, we'll click on open chat. I'll say, okay, are you working? And we just need to top up our credits inside open router. Let's do that quickly. There we go. Top the credits. Let's test that message again. And there we go. That's working perfectly, right? So you got four as an AI agent. You can build it out in literally a minute, as you can see. And then that's working perfectly. We've got the chatbot ready to go. If you want to see some really advanced stuff with this, check out the AI success lab. So for example, like you can automate like outbound calls and stuff like that. Like you can see this can actually make like outbound calls. We have another one, for example, we automated content with shorts. So you can automate like shorts from the idea down to the prompt generation and then down to actually like publishing the short over here. As an example of that, this automation right here, which you can add Sonnet 4 to if you want. If you go over to TikTok, you can see this was the short that I actually created using NA10 AI agents, right? So these AI agents that you build can be absolutely wild if you have the right process and you can use Claude 4 to help you. So this was fully generated and published using Claude 4. Now I'm just gonna shut down Bolt DIY because it does take up a lot of memory. So I'm gonna terminate that whilst I'm recording this video. And then if you want another way to build with this, what you can actually do is you can go to Visual Studio Code Again, I have tutorials inside the AI Success Lab, completely free inside the link in the comments description. And if you go inside Klein, for example, here, and then you're going to select Anthropic. And actually, if we check the list here, I can't see Claude 4 implemented inside Klein yet. So you can't see it from the drop down when I check Anthropic and Open Router. But I'm sure that'll come within like the next 24 hours, to be honest with you. Let's check Recode out now as well. So if we go on the settings, open router that has four right so you can see opus four and sonnet over here so for example if we select sonnet we'll hit save we can now start coding inside Ru code using sonnet four so let's take an example prompt just going to take this one as an example so this is like a one page website that we want to build with sonnet we'll plug that in we'll hit enter now that's going to use Sonic 4 to start building out. And you can see it's coding right here based on the prompt. So just to be clear here, whilst we're waiting for this to load, I've shown you how to build and code games or artifacts, etc., inside the chat directly. I've shown you exactly how to build AI super agents who can control your browser, as well as controlling your laptop and getting information from your laptop too. I've shown you how to set up Bolt DIY, which is great for coding tools. And additionally, We've talked through how to use Visual Studio Code to build out websites like you can see. This is great for coding locally, to be honest. If you have local projects that you want to build, this is one of the best ways to do it. And additionally, I've shown you how to build AI agents using NA10 so you can automate any processes you want. And 
those agents, I've shown you basic examples like a chatbot, but also examples of, for example, how to automate shorts or reels with proof that they actually work and how you can automate that as well. Now, if you want all of this stuff for free, you can actually get that inside the AI success lab, which is an amazing community with 7,000 members. We're also just giving away free trainings every single day. So for example, this free AI bot builder that will save you about 20 hours a week and also free prompts that create web apps every single day. We're adding new free stuff inside here. So if you want to get it, it's completely free link in the comments. If you go to the classroom and then go to the free AI course, you can get all of my notes and step-by-step -step operating procedures on how to set up everything that I've shown you today, right? Including the MCPs, the AI super agents, the browser use agents, you can get it all for free with video tutorials and step-by-step -step resources, plus the copy and paste instructions, right? So feel free to get that link in the comments description. And if you need help and support setting all of this stuff up, if you need guidance, if you need coaching, if you need DM support, if you just want to meet awesome people that are doing the same things as you, then feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom. This community is focused on making you more money and saving you time with AI, right? So it's an awesome community where you can post any questions, you can get help whenever you need it. You can see how active the community is right here. So we're always posting new stuff and we're always helping people out. So for example, Sani posted a day ago and we just helped him out straight away. You can see all these different posts going on right here. And also inside the classroom of the AI Profit Boardroom, you get all of our best courses and tutorials that we don't show anywhere else, right? This stuff is like the best stuff that I've implemented inside my business and you can't find it anywhere else. On top of that, Inside the calendar here, we have weekly coaching calls. So you can just jump on the coaching calls, ask us live any questions that you have. And if you can't make the coaching calls, it's okay because we record them back and post them online as well. So you can just get access to those too. So if you need like personalized help, if you need help implementing, if you're ever confused, if you struggle to stay up with stuff, if you're like, this is amazing, but I don't know how to implement it in my business, the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to go by far. So feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Price is probably going up soon, so make sure you get it now before you miss out. And appreciate you watching.